going on, my little tattletales? Happy Monday to everyone. Yo, how's your week starting off? Well, if you're Wendy Williams and according to the show producers of the Wendy Williams show, it's not going too well. Y'all, what am I talking about? Producers are still in their feelings and the network execs that Wendy has basically told them to kiss her B-U-T-T, right? She won't play ball. They literally begged her to make social media posts. They even said that they would send a team of social media managers out there to actually help her film. When they said Wendy wouldn't return any calls. And they said because of that, Wendy's debut Instagram account only got 20 thousand followers in its first week and they're building this as wendy's fans have abandoned her y'all let's get into the story because to me it screams a pure propaganda and they know what they're doing again it seems like every time wendy won't play ball with this network the network does something to ruin her y'all let's get into this new account on how wendy's through she's over she's She's this, she's that, but yet they still call him begging and doing everything they can to bring her back. And I don't care, well, you know, and I got thoughts on Sherry Shepard's new show, right? Okay, so it says, further distancing herself from the show that bears her name, Wendy Williams, a new social media account has been a bomb with just 20,000 fans following the troubled host since it debuted last week. Now get this, right? They literally go on record saying, well, unnamed sources, but we all know this is thing, saying, Producers have been begging Wendy for months to address her fans on social media to explain in her own words what is going on. They were willing to send a team of social media professionals from the show down to Florida to film and edit a short video that could be posted all over Wendy show accounts. But Wendy wouldn't return their calls. That's because you guys are a bunch of vultures and I see why she's not returning your calls. Now instead, behind their backs. Now it's behind their backs, y'all. Do y'all see what's going on with this network? Behind their back, she set up her own independent account because she doesn't trust anyone that works at her show anymore. And I wonder why. If you guys don't, well, I'm going to tell you on a second, right? However, the sneaky move is, they go on to say, however, the sneaky move has backfired with less than 20K people following the new account of the former talk show host. Wendy has never had a huge social media following, people think. After a decade on TV, she has only 1.9 million followers on her official at Wendy show account. Okay, now, first of all, let's take a pause, right? Most of these big influencers buy half of their followers, and I'm not even joking. Second of all, it is a show Instagram, not Wendy's personal account. How many followers do you want on a show? Third of all, Wendy has never tried to get into the Instagram foray. She's never, even when she was in better times, she was never interested. And third of all, it's Wendy Williams. Like, stop it. You guys are literally trying to throw dirt on her name because she won't play ball. Also forget this hateful mess. Why well, Wendy Williams people are telling her talk show producers that she's too sick to return to work. She's recording videos in the beach in Florida heading to the gym. You mean to tell me because she can't go and sit in a chair five days a week for how many hours and she's not allowed to be post on a video headed to a gym? What are you? Why is a network acting like Wendy's name is Kunta Kinti and she's a runaway slave? I'm being serious. This is getting ridiculous went on record saying you can't have it both ways you're either too sick to sit in a purple chair for an hour each day on tv or you're not can you imagine can you imagine if you called in six for six months and then popped up on video in florida skipping down the beach you would be fired they can't fire but this is where the network is so mad you can't fire someone that don't work for you they need wendy wendy obviously doesn't need them Because if she did, she'd be sitting in that purple chair. And that's what's bugging them. They have no power. They have no control. They're trying to treat her like an employee, but they can't because Wendy owns her own shit. And honestly, even if they do cancel the show, Wendy can take that show anywhere and they know it. And that's why they're trying to throw dirt on her name and make everybody think that she is dementia. She's washed up or she has been. But here's the thing that kills them. Wendy is magic on TV for the people that watch her. So as much as you throw dirt on her name, it's like anyone, right? When she comes back, and if she comes back with that magic, all her fans are going to come back too. Who's going to follow a dormant Instagram account? Now listen, here's why they're really mad. Let's get into it. They went on to say, at this point, Wendy is making fools out of all the hardworking people who show up for work each day, even when they're not feeling great. First of all, last I reported, the network said all these hardworking people got fired from Wendy's show and hired immediately for Sherry Shepard's show. So what's really good? Honestly, let's go on an insider dish. The show's producers are livid about the latest stunt. The, Wendy also cut off all the show's producers and vowed as she came back, she was going to fire everyone, report said. So what was really good, right? 
And then it said, we're told that Wendy's TV bosses were caught off guard by the message, right? Which appeared on her new social media account. So which is it? Do you wish her full recovery? Do you know she's sick? Do you wish you're putting out all these hit pieces? What really is the truth? Again, I think the truth is the show and the network is scared that Wendy, because they've treated Wendy bad. They've treated, and Wendy's gone through some stuff. They're scared that she's going to take the asset that is her and take it to a new medium. And at this case, you know, I think she should. Now get this also. They literally have the nerve to say, acting like they're concerned. What is she doing? She's surrounding herself by people giving her bad advice. She needs to be working with the people on her show, not going rogue on her own. Wendy doesn't know anything about social media. She doesn't know how to post videos, which means someone else is doing that, which is terrifying. Is it? Now we're in a Keaton Jordan Pill movie. Shut up. Anyway, this hateful mess. The truth is Wendy's mouth has always been much bigger than her audience listening. But, but without her show, even that small audience has turned their back on her. After disappearing for months, you'd think everyone would want to hear what Wendy has to say. But in reality, only 20,000 people did. The other million plus moved on to listen to Sherry Shepard instead, who is now all, all over the show's official account. Y'all, if Sherry Shepard's show lasts a year, good for her. But honestly, who are they kidding? And second of all, what they talking about, nobody wants to hear what Wendy says. I blog about things I heard that Wendy said. Other people have. Look at the views on YouTube. Wendy has a loyal audience. And let me guess, tell y'all something. If she didn't, the next works would have kicked her out so quick. It don't even matter. Yo, this sounds like bitter. This sounds like tired. This sounds like the network execs are still trying to throw some dirt on her name. Like, damn it, let that woman heal. Also remember, right? Wendy literally, over the past couple of months, she's been seen flying back and forth from New York to Florida. And she even checked into a wellness center in Miami and was seen leaving with the facility handler, the facility people, like the caretakers, right? Now, and that's another thing, because the media and paparazzi jump on her so much, I see why she's scared to go to a wellness center. Because everybody's waiting for a picture of her vaping in a wheelchair with her googly eyes looking crazy. I can see why Wendy's hiring, like hi hiding, right? Now, listen, don't also forget that early this month, right, Wendy is still suing Wells Fargo. And right now, she was suing it. All the documents were open. But now, all the court documents are closed. Y'all, Wendy Williams is in a rough place. Rough place. The network is piling on. I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe they're the ones that contacted Lori. The network is a tough. They're literally trying to make sure what all networks do. They want to make sure that if Wendy Williams that she won't have her name, she won't have her reputation, and she will leave with everything that she came in with, which is a lot. And that's what's eating up the network executives. Because as much as they like to act like they made Wendy, Wendy came a firmly farm product. Wendy put the network on the map as far as with the Wendy Williams show. And they are so mad and so angry that they cannot snatch that away from her. Y'all, keep an eye on this story. It is developing. But all I got to say is, what do you think? The network has a nerve. I still can't believe it that you only got 20,000. A sick woman who's not even at work and not communicating with everyone. You're gloating that only 20,000 people followed an Instagram account of one right with one uh post on it maybe two and also let's get this straight too it took the, the network 1.9 million to grow it took the network how many years to grow 1.9 million subscribers man shut up y'all ain't doing too much better than wendy the nerve the gall the shit but anyway you know what let me know what you think in the comments are you buying this are you buying what the network's putting down i'm not